thank you for joining me for this kind of brief uh, video cast about what makes me have hope for the future of the church and just some vignettes that um, I find as I uh, bump around on my visitations and talk with people. Today I want to talk to you about a, a congregation that has uh, begun to do some amazing work uh, with youth and young adults. Now, this congregation is not a particularly large congregation. This congregation doesn't have a lot of money. But like many Episcopal congregations in our communities, this congregation wanted to know where people were. And of course, as they began that discussion, uh, uh, particularly being curious about where folks were in the neighborhoods and where they weren't, they realized that a lot of the young people they did have participated in dance, cheerleading, karate, and soccer. In fact, as they became curious even more, they found out not only did some of the youth in their congregation do these things, but some of uh, the uh, adults in the congregation actually were coaching and helping to support these programs outside of the church. And so working together over time, what they began to do is slowly build up groups and individuals who were willing to spend time uh, in the afternoons to um, provide these kinds of extracurricular activities. Now, the amazing thing was, as I was there on Sunday, I got to go over and look at uh, the soccer league. How many times have we in the Episcopal Church talked about how uh, our kids are away at soccer uh, on Sundays, and it makes it hard for the families to attend. Well, by doing this, what was great was uh, people who were at the church, people who are from the community all came together being coached by a member of the congregation, and they had started their own soccer league. They've started since then their own karate and cheerleading classes. All this is to say that not too unlike uh, the missionary periods of the past, looking and figuring out where people are and what they're interested in uh, has become for this small congregation a means, a way uh, to begin to create relationships outside of the congregation and with more families. Those families today are beginning uh, to be confirmed, baptized into the congregation. So this is a, like, how can we not have hope when a congregation without a lot of funds uh, without a, a bunch of clergy and a bunch of staff is able to do the ministry of the church and began to undertake this kind of amazing outreach, which is building relationships in the community. So uh, based on that, uh, if we can do that, we can do so much more. And I've got a lot of hope for the Episcopal Church today. Thanks for joining me.